Joshua, you speak of honor as if it is a beacon of unwavering light. But each action, even the most virtuous, casts a shadow. Each choice, no matter how well-meaning, can echo in the Force, yielding both good and ill. Yet, honor, Kreia, is not a beacon, but a compass. It may not dispel all shadows, but it guides us towards righteousness. The path may be steep and treacherous, but if it leads towards goodness, isn't it worth the travel? Goodness, righteousness, honor. These are noble pursuits, but they are often seen through subjective lenses. What one perceives as right, another may see as a path towards devastation. Look to the Jedi and their war against the Mandalorians, a righteous cause, yet it led to pain, suffering, and the rise of the Sith. A painful truth, yet one that illustrates the necessity of standing against evil, no matter the cost. As difficult as it may be, isn't it our duty to confront the darkness, to stand up for those who cannot defend themselves? And therein lies the dichotomy of such noble pursuits. When does the sacrifice outweigh the cause? When does the means justify the end? The Jedi believed they were safeguarding the galaxy, yet in their zeal, they unknowingly played into the hands of the Sith, causing greater harm. Their righteousness became their downfall. True, Kreia. One cannot ignore the potential for unforeseen consequences. Yet we cannot let fear of what might be paralyze us. Should we stand by and allow darkness to prevail because we fear the echo of our actions? I caution you, Joshua. Determination can quickly become obsession. Righteousness can morph into fanaticism. Our intentions may be pure, but the path to ruin is often paved with good intentions. Balance is key, and to achieve that, we must question, learn, and understand. A lesson in humility, perhaps, Kreia. But faith is just as essential. Faith in a higher power, in our cause, in our fellow beings. Even in the darkest of nights, faith can light our way. Yet Joshua, one man's guiding star, can be another's blinding light. The ability to recognize this duality, to navigate through this complexity, and to maintain balance is crucial. It is this understanding that I believe is the true path. Perhaps there is truth in your words, Kreia. But I maintain that the ability to discern right from wrong and the courage to act upon it despite the cost is the bedrock of honor. Joshua, while time might weather that bedrock, it is the ultimate judge of our actions. The echoes of our choices will resonate throughout the galaxy, their true impact known only when they have run their course. A fair point, Kreia. But ultimately, it will be the Creator's judgment we face. Guided by honor and righteousness, we must remain steadfast in adversity. True, Joshua, but let us not forget that wisdom and understanding are as crucial as honor and righteousness. Without them, we risk becoming blind zealots, unwittingly becoming echoes of the evils we strive to combat. A wise reminder, Kreia. Indeed, it is through understanding and wisdom that our actions, guided by righteousness and honor, can lead to a brighter future. One must walk the path of righteousness with both courage and mindfulness. True wisdom comes from understanding the potential for both light and darkness in every choice. Yet the path of honor cannot be swayed by the uncertainty of the outcomes. It is a guiding principle that should never waver. Principle, yes, but not dogma, Joshua. Rigidity blinds us to alternatives, possibilities beyond the binary of light and dark. It is this blindness that leads to the fall of the greatest among us. Yet Kreia, without principles, without a code to guide us, we risk becoming wayward, our actions driven by whims and fleeting emotions. Isn't it better to adhere to an ideal, even if imperfect, than to wander aimlessly? I argue not against the need for guiding principles, Joshua, but against the danger of them becoming absolute. Ideals should guide us, not bind us. They must be malleable, adapting to the changing dynamics of the galaxy, its people, and the force itself. In the face of shifting sands, Kreia, the steadiness of our principles offers solace. Yes, they should be questioned and examined, but abandoning them altogether could leave us in an existential void. Ah, but there lies the test of our true strength, Joshua. It is in that void, stripped of preconceptions, that we discover our true selves. It is a harrowing journey, but it is one that leads to growth, to evolution. Growth and evolution, indeed. But must it come at the cost of our beliefs, Kreia? Shouldn't our principles be the pillars on which we build our understanding of the universe and our place in it? Yes, Joshua, but these pillars must be built on the bedrock of discernment, not the sands of dogmatism. 
they must support our growth, not limit it. It is in this delicate balance that we find our true path. A delicate balance indeed, Kreia. One that requires us to be ever watchful, ever mindful. Our journey is not an easy one, but it is through this struggle that we find our true worth. It seems, Joshua, we are not so different in our pursuits. We both seek balance, understanding and growth. It is our paths to these pursuits that differ, and it is in this difference that the richness of the galaxy, and indeed the Force itself, is revealed. An apt observation, Kreia. Perhaps it is in these differing paths that we truly learn the value of our choices, the weight of our actions, and the strength of our resolve. A quest that never ends, Kreia. But guided by honor and shaped by our principles, it is a journey worth undertaking. It is the path to enlightenment and salvation. A journey indeed, Joshua, but one that we must undertake with open minds, questioning hearts and discerning spirits, for it is only through these trials that we can truly grow. And in growth, Kreia, we find our purpose, our place in this vast, complex galaxy. It is a journey fraught with peril and uncertainty, but it is a journey that defines us. A fitting conclusion, Joshua. It is not the destination, but the journey and the choices we make along the way that truly define us. May the Force guide us on this eternal quest.